whose the theme is no longer a stranger to merchants who often seek a Shopify theme with robust customization capacity. You might have heard some people say, why don't you use free themes on the Shopify theme store? Okay, they are free but short of customization features, and this is when Shopify themes like Booster come into the rescue. At the moment, Booster theme doesn't offer a free trial anymore, but it requires a payment of more than $200 at least, which can be off-putting to lots of people. This is why we got a free trial and took a deep dive into what Booster theme has to offer, so you don't have to. My name is Kali Fung, creative strategist of PageFly, the number one Shopify page builder app, and welcome to Ecom Learning with PageFly channel. Today, I got a detailed, non-affiliated review video about what is Boost the theme, what are its key features, its pros and cons, the pricing plans, and test the page speed of stores using Booster for you. Let's dive in. Oh, and before talking about this review, if you are a readaholic, we also write a detailed article about Booster theme, which I will leave the link in the description box. You don't want to miss it. Do check it later. Created with the most modern and refined design and catered to the most popular niches like CBD, pet, home and garden, etc. Booster theme is a theme designed for Shopify stores. But how is it different from free themes? A paid theme like Booster theme comes with a lot more sales boosting and zero features compared to what free themes have to offer. Additionally, Booster theme offers its users not just three theme variations like most Shopify free themes, but a total of eight themes. To install Booster theme Shopify, step one, go to the Booster theme website, click try Booster now. Step two, Add your name, email, and credit or debit card information. Step 3. Once you've filled out the form, a login link will be sent to your email. Step 4. Assess the Booster theme user panel. Select the license box and add your Shopify store URL. Step 5. Install Booster Central app. Then select your child theme to start with. Each theme also comes with a demo store so that interested buyers can just walk in and take a closer look at Booster Theme's key features and design. Okay, now let's talk about Booster Theme's key features. Lookbook is one of the Booster Theme's best features. Basically, the Lookbook features works similarly to Instagram shopping. It allows you to create shoppable images and your visitors can click on an image to purchase the products that are tagged in the image. This section helps to increase conversion rates for your e-commerce business by showing off what you have to offer in an attractive way. When you customize any Booster theme, there are pre-made content block sections for you to customize. You just need to choose the product under Featured Product and pin color as you wish. Or if you want to create a lookbook from scratch, select Add Section, Show More, and choose lookbook or lookbook with text. Now the next feature is sale notification. Sales notification is the pop-up at the bottom right corner on the page, letting visitors see that there are people recently bought from your store. To add sales notifications in Booster theme, step one, you go to themes and click on customization. And two, go to theme settings from recently bought choose enable recently bought app scroll down a little bit and you can see settings options for frequency of the notifications assign collections and other styling setup the third feature to be mentioned is countdown timer countdown timer is a powerful feature that you can use to make products more tempting countdown timer has set a deadline for your visitors so they will be eager to buy the product before its time runs out. With the Booster theme, you can customize the counter timer design to fit your style and move it anywhere you like. To add counter timer in Booster theme, well, first go to theme settings, select counter timers, 
and enable awful countdown. Scroll down a little bit and you can see options for time settings. Feature number four, GDPR cookie bar. GDPR cookie bar is a good way to make your visitors aware of the fact that you are using cookies on your website. It's a pop-up which appears when someone leaves a page and it informs them about cookies and how they can disable or delete them in the browser settings. In this day and age, GDPR cookie bar is an absolute must as you need to avoid legal issues. If you're using a booster theme, then GDPR cookie bar is automatically installed and will work for all your pages once activated in the theme settings, basic GDPR notice, and enable basic GDPR notice. Feature number five is currency converter. Now you don't need a different Shopify app to get this feature on your Shopify store. This is a must-have for any Shopify store that sells internationally as it can be used to make price comparisons and convergence between currencies, which will lead to more sales. So how to add currency converter in Booster theme? You simply go to theme settings, internationalization. First, enable use geolocation to apply personalized settings. Basically, this functionality will detect users' native language and currency based on their IP. Lastly, set up currency conversion. On the live view, the list of currencies available will show up on the top right of your page, under settings, which is the gear icon. Number six, upsell and cross sell with personalized recommendation. Upsell and cross sell can help you to increase average order value, which is the average amount of money spent by customers in each order. The higher your average order value, the more you can earn from a single customer. And that's something every business wants. A higher average order value can be achieved by smart upsell and cross sell. So upselling is a strategy to sell an advanced version of a product the customer already bought with higher pricing. Cross-selling is a strategy to sell related products to the one a customer is buying. Both upsell and cross-sell can be enabled with Booster Themes personalized recommendation. Now, how does personalized recommendation work? Every time someone purchases an item on your Shopify store, their purchase history is recorded for personalization. With a Booster theme, you can add sections like upsell sections or people also buy Okay, how to add people up and buy section. Go to your product page and you'll find a section called inline up sale. And this is where you can customize which products to show up in the recommendation section based on product condition, collection condition, product tag, product price, or product type. About the recommended for you section, you'll find a section called recommend. Select the recommend section Scroll down to the headings, text, and add recommended products. The next feature is cart page customization. Cart page is your customer's last stop in the checkout process. The page where they can review their purchase and make final decisions about whether to continue with the purchase. This is why your cart page design is of almost importance. With Booster theme, you can customize your cart page according to your needs, making sure that your customers have access to all the information that they need in order to make a perfect purchase. So you can go to your cart page and you will find a list of elements and sections you can customize. You can add social media icons, personalized notes, and info page to convince your buyers not to abandon carts. Next up. Smart Maker Menu. Maker Menu is a special type of menu that can be used to display products or images on menu header, and it should look like this. This is what your customers are going to need in order for them to be able to navigate through your site easily. And this is exactly what Booster Themes offers, a simple way of creating Maker Menus without having any code skills at hand. In order to activate the Maker Menu features, you just need to go into Heading Settings, Enable Mega Menu. Number 9. Block Cards Block cards 
or blog list is a list of blog posts that you can display them in a grid format by using Booster theme. So if you want to keep your customers updated with latest news, updates, or even topics that are related to your niche, then adding this kind of content is something that will help your prospective buyers know that you have authority within the niche and a deep understanding of your product, thus establishing trust and credibility. The last feature to be mentioned is free plus shipping. Everybody loves free shipping. In fact, a research from investproco.com reported that the free shipping offers can greatly influence online buyer decisions. 9 out of 10 consumers say free shipping is a topmost incentive to shop online and orders because free shipping averaged around 30% higher in value. From themes and customize, go to theme settings, go to your advanced buttons, enable free shipping. You can scroll down to customize the free shipping button. Some other features. Once you go to theme settings, you can explore a lot of other features, including one copycat stopper, preventing others from copying your content, integrating Facebook Messenger to your online store so that customers can get quick live chat support, floating contact, enabling a floating contact icon where prospective customers can quickly learn more about your brand, checkout, customize Shopify checkout page and thank you page. One more recent update is that this theme is now fully compatible with Shopify Online Store 2.0 so you got nothing to worry about when implementing these features on your store. So with all of these analysis in hand, what are the pros and cons of this theme? The theme provides multiple options, child themes, and multiple features that can cover large customizability demands, beautiful and responsive page design and clean layout, extensive features with a strong focus on sales boosting and conversion rate optimization functionalities. The price is affordable, and because it's feature-rich, merchants can save more money since they don't have to add so many Shopify apps to their stores. But how about the cons? Since Booster theme is not a Shopify theme, but a third-party theme, the installation process can be slightly overwhelming and complicated, especially when compared to that of Shopify themes. Live chat support is not available. Their average reply time is 1 to 2 business days. Theme updates can negatively affect your store. There they have been complaints from customers that they need to reinstall the theme after its update. Their efforts spent on building child themes are not equally distributed, manifested in the way that some of the child themes are not well built as the others. Booster theme does not support editing custom pages like About Us, FAQ, sales landing page, etc. So for more advanced modification, you need to find a third-party page builder app like PageFly, for example, to flexibly edit and design your pages. As a recent update, Booster theme is no longer providing a free trial version, but to use the theme, users have two options. One is to pay $249 for the first year and $99 from the second year and two is to pay $399 for a one-time purchase, which is on a discount. Both of these plans allows you to assess all booster features, apps, enjoy their updates and support. So if you are a serious game player and see that booster themes have everything you've been looking for, consider paying one time to avoid additional cost of the subscription plan. Even though booster theme is packed with a wealth of features and functionalities, the team at Booster Theme is so confident about its loading speed. They can even put a comparison between Booster Theme and its competitor, Turbo Theme. Testing Booster Theme's demo store on Google Page Speed Insight, one can see that their demo store achieves an almost perfect score for mobile speed, which is 94 out of 100. In our opinion, the theme feature is a factor that can affect the loading speed of a site but it's not the only one. Your site can be slowed down because of Shopify apps, image size, and the way you edit complex theme code, and many other factors. 
So with this score, Booster theme is friendly with your site's speed. Okay, and that would bring us to the end of this review video today. I hope this video has been helpful to everyone who has intention of buying or getting to know about this theme. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions about Booster and which theme you want me to review in the future videos. We also have a playlist to review the Shopify themes and Shopify tutorials. I will leave the links in the description of this video and make sure you check it out. Lastly, thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to us because we have so much interesting topics to share with you. Give this video a like and I'll see you in the next video.